Hello everyone, so today we're going to be making a cutlery drainer but first you need your sketches ready, your sketch idea, your engineering sketch, this is the front view and this is the side view. Once you have that, go into Fusion, first save your work, save it as cutlery drainer, press enter, Right click on here, select new component and name it elephant. Next up, you want to go to create sketch. Select the vertical plane here. And then you want to select rectangle, select the center, drag it out to the right and make this five, then press tab and make this 20. This is your elephant's leg, as you can see right here. So now, to go to rectangle again, select this top left corner, drag it out to the right, and make it 90 by 90. And that's your body. And now we need to draw the other leg, which is here, 5 by 20. Clean up. And now we need to create the inner body. So select rectangle again, from here to the right, down, make it 84 by 84. As you can see, this is not even, as this is very big, and this gap here is very small. So to fix that, we're going to be using sketch dimension. This will allow you to modify the distance between two lines. So here and here, make it three millimeters and then here and here and make this three millimeters so now they're all even next up go to line right here select this point and drag it to the right to that point then you sketch dimension again from that line that we just drawn to the top here and make it eight millimeters and now we need to go select rectangle, select this point here, drag it down. So make it five millimeters by 15 millimeters. And then there's one more from the bottom left here, drag it down, make it 30 by 15. This should line up like this. And then you want to use sketch dimension from this line to this line here, you want to make this 10 millimeters. And you should get something like this. You might want to clean up as it will become very messy. And now we're going to draw the face. So rectangle again, top right here, drag it down to the right, make this 70 by 10. And there's one more, which is a line here to there. And you want to use sketch dimension. Select this line and this line, drag it out and make it 20. And that's your face in the side view. And now we need our mouth. First go to the line function and then select construction from the bottom right of the right foot, well the front foot technically, drag it out to the right and make it 30 millimeters. And once you have that, you want to select line, turn off construction. So from here, the outer left side of the elephant, and then you want to select anywhere on that line, it doesn't matter. And then from there again, drag it up and go up to the same place. Make sure you have those, this double line right here. You can see there, right there. It means that they're parallel. And then there's one more line like that. Make sure they're all parallel. And then connect all of them together. And now use sketch dimension. So these two points, 
of 5 millimeters apart. And these two, they are 1.5. Same for up here. Yep, we don't need to do that. And then check this one. 1.5. Perfect. So now we need to connect this part with this part like we have on our sketch here. So this is connected to that. So first go to line and then select this point up and make it one millimeter. Zoom in and make sure that it is vertical. Select that, exit. And then you want to go to create, select conic curve, select this point up to this point and curve it to however much you like. I'll have mine around here and press enter. Once you have that, check that everything is right. So go back to your sketch, make sure you have everything. So we're missing these two lines here So go back. Select line, this point up, and this point up. Then check again. Seems that we have everything. So now click on finish sketch, and you're done with the first part.